Hello, I am Gina with the Penobscot Marine Museum in Searsport, Maine. Let's take a look at this painting. At first glance, we see a painting of a sailing vessel at sea. Some blue sky peeks through many white clouds. White capped waves roll through the water, but are small enough not to be menacing. To the left, we see some land, only open water on the right. In the background, we see a variety of ships, but the main subject is one vessel. This vessel looks different from the ships we generally look at during these Peek into Paintings programs. Those tend to be three-masted with some square sails. The vessel we see here has only one mast and fore and aft sails. That makes it a sloop. Let's take a closer look at the deck. We see a man at the front of the sloop. He's straddling the bowsprit near the end. Then we see three more crew members toward the bow, two in the middle, and about 10 in the stern of the vessel. This crew includes more men than we typically see in paintings of much larger vessels. Why do you think that is? The artist includes some lovely details that we can see in this zoomed in image. In addition to all the crew, we see the rigging, all the ropes necessary to support the mast and for hoisting, lowering, or trimming sails to the wind. The hull is painted a steel gray and we glimpse the red paint under the waterline. The white waves curl against the hull. Below the waterline is visible because the artist painted the vessel slightly canted to the left. The sails are full and the vessel is moving toward the viewer and off to our left. The harbor is busy. Closer to land, we see a few schooners in the distance. The hills are in the background. Heading out towards sea, there are a variety of vessels. The three-masted schooner is silhouetted against the sky. To the right of the schooner, we see a vessel heading directly toward us. We don't see sails unfurled and there's a hint of smoke, so it's likely a steamship. After a few more indescript small vessels, we see the details of another steamship steam ship that is closer to us. The smoke from the stacks of the steamship adds a little drama to the painting. The orientation of the vessel conveys movement and the details of the other vessels are interesting additions to the painting. As we go down into the bottom right corner, we see the painting is signed A. Jacobson, 1897. As indicated, Antonio Jacobson painted the Yacht Defender in 1897. Want to find out more about this sloop and the men on board? Look for the next Peek into Paintings video.